Let's talk about a new method that I learned for elegantly automating main stage patch changes. Just like with some of the other automation methods that I've covered before, step one is to make sure that the IAC bus is active in the audio MIDI setup application in the utilities folder. Step two, head on over to logicprohelp.com, create an account, and say a big thank you to forum member DudeMan42 for generously sharing a script that he made for Mainstage's scripter MIDI effect. I'll put the link in the video description. Step three, open up the Mainstage project that you want to automate. In the edit tab, under the patch list, select settings and make sure that show bank and program numbers is active. Optionally, I also like to have show memory usage selected just for troubleshooting purposes. Another important function is set bank and program numbers, which automatically assign those parameters to your patch list in the order they appear. Now, before we move on to step four, we need to do a concept review of Mainstage's hierarchy. Mainstage has three main tiers, the concert level, the set level, and the patch level. When you create something at the concert level, it will be present in every single set and patch throughout the entire project. At the set level, only things inside of that folder will have those parameters, and then patches are individual snippets where they can change with each different one. What this means is that as you plan out your automation, you want to make sure that you put the scripter plugin at the right level of hierarchy within Mainstage to make sure that you get the effect that you want. Back into Mainstage, I'm treating sets as a complete song and the patches as different sections of the song. So step four is to create a new external instrument channel strip at your desired level. In the dialog box, make sure that the IAC bus is selected as the MIDI output device. All other inputs and outputs can be blank. Rename your channel strip for clarity and then add a new instance of the scripter plugin under MIDI effects. When the console opens, copy DudeMan42's script exactly and paste it into the console window. It's okay to erase the default script in doing so. Now, click the preset drop-down menu in the Scripter plugin window and select Save As. Choose a name and include default or initial in the description. This gives you a blank template to start over from in case something gets messed up. Step five, add your patch change points. In the script editor, go to the section labeled Edit This Array. Each line in the array tells Mainstage when to trigger a patch change based on three parameters, beat position, channel number, and program change number. The beat position parameter corresponds to Mainstage's master beat clock. Be careful as this value ignores bar values. It's only the actual number of beats elapsed. To calculate beat position, you simply multiply the time signature with the number of bars prior to the one that you want the change to occur on and then add any remaining beats. Now, if you've never worked with beat position before, don't worry, here's a few examples. Let's say that you have a song that's in 4-4 and want the patch to change on beat 1 of bar 33. Take the time signature of 4 and multiply that by 32 bars, which is the number of beats elapsed right before our desired downbeat. Then just add 1, which will give us the final beat position of bar 33 beat 1. So in this case, the beat position is 129. Another example, let's say that you have a song in 3-4 and the last measure of the verse has a rhythmic push into the chorus and your desired patch change is the AND of beat 3 in bar 72, like this example. First, multiply 3 times 71 to get the number of beats elapsed so far. That gives us 213. Now, add 2.5, which is the first two quarter notes of the measure, followed by half a quarter note beat, which musically, of course, is an eighth note. So our desired patch change should happen at beat position 215.5. Once you've created all of your patch change points for a particular song, Hit Save As again in the plugin window and save the script with the appropriate song title. Then repeat this process for every song in your concert. Then hit the main stage play button and watch the patch changes roll by in real time. Thanks for watching. I know every YouTuber says this, but it really does help. Please like and subscribe if the video was helpful. You can also find me on Patreon for individual lessons and access to projects and lesson materials. See you next time.